Today's hot trends, most of us think of pairing wine with food, but food enthusiasts are now pairing wine with chocolate. Joining me is Paul Santariello of Door Peninsula Winery. Paul, good morning to you good again. Morning. Thank you for coming back. Sure. So more and more people are pairing chocolate and wine now. When are they doing that? Um, After dinner or can you do it? Actually, There's even before. special events. We host wine and chocolate pairings. You do, uh, yeah, like after dinner. Different ideas, a variety of different wines, variety of different chocolates. Um, but basically, a, a plating of chocolate with wine happens because uh, you have wine during your dinner. Sure. And it makes sense to have a wine with dessert. To continue, to on. continue well, on. Well, do you have any, first of all, before we get to the suggestions, mm -hmm. tips on what to think about when you are pairing these things for your guests? You, you want to have the wine slightly sweeter than your chocolate, okay? So they, they match flavors that way. Um, or fruity, so some, uh, maybe like a dark chocolate with a Zinfandel, because Zinfandel is a really bold wine, mm -hmm. fruity wine, but there's less sweetness or less sugar in those high percentage chocolates, and that'll be a good match, too. What if you like those infused chocolates? They're all the rage oh, now, those. those spicy infused. Mm -hmm. What do you do with that? So uh, the, the sweet will kind of tame that heat. Um, you, okay. you get like the, the, uh, the chili pepper or like a sea salt like I brought here today. Yes, um, sea salt chocolate. Exactly. What would you pair this with then? Well, so you have a sea salt. Um, I would do so, like a white wine and I would do maybe a Riesling. Okay. Um, because the milk chocolate in there, and there's actual milk, so it'll be creamy. Okay. Um, you've got an acidity with the uh, uh, Riesling, and it just kind of cleans your palate. It's nice. Now, what if you're not as daring and you just want to go milk chocolate and be safe? Milk chocolate. So I would, I would probably put a fruit wine with that, like a raspberry or sweet cherry, and that just adds a little element, a fruit element, and gives now, a little pop. what if you want to be très chic and go white chocolate? White chocolate is uh, really low tannin. So it's going to be creamy. I would suggest a white wine, again, like a Riesling or a sweet apple. Mm -hmm. um, something with some acidity to, uh, to just help the flavors pop a little bit. And finally, mm -hmm. dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Because that's very bitter. There's, yes, and so you, would, you can use a sweeter wine, but I would suggest probably a drier wine like um, a, a Merlot, a Zinfandel. Okay. Port would even work. That's I was a classic thinking I like pairing. port after dinner. Yeah, and, and so uh, when you when you do barrel aged port, uh, there's oak in there, and the dark chocolate kind of works with all of that. Now, how do you present it? How would you present your wine and your chocolates on a plate, for example? Because it is Valentine's Day, you want to show a little panache, a little flair. I agree, and and so what I created here is just a little mix with the dessert in the center. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe some almonds, just no chocolate almonds. That way it gives mm -hmm. a little texture, a little pop. Um, and then you have chocolate-covered cherries from Door County. Those are always good. Oh, good espresso one. beans, chocolate ex espresso beans sprinkled on the plate. And you could do a variety of different wines. So that with way. this particular dessert then, what would you serve? What kind of wine would you serve with it? I would probably do two wines with this and do a, a dry red and a sweet fruit wine. Okay, and let's talk a little bit about Door Peninsula Winery. You mm -hmm. sent us some video. Sure, uh, the winery is in Carlsville, which is probably in the center of the peninsula. Um, on sunnier days, uh, we, we're open year round, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have baskets for sale at our website. Um, we've got uh, tours going all the time, free tastings. How many wines do you produce? Uh, I produce probably close to 40 different wines. 40 different wines. And what are, let's say, your flagship wines? Uh, some of them you see here, raspberry, sweet cherry. These are the ones? Uh, that's Zinfandel. That's a very good seller for us. The dry, we make dry wines, and I think a lot of people miss that about us because we're known as a fruit winery. Because okay, of course, Door County. County. Sure, apples and cherries. And so we use a lot of the local crops as much as we can. So. Okay. Well, Paul Santoriello, thank you so much of Door Peninsula Winery. We have some beautiful ideas now mm -hmm. for our Valentine's Day dessert. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Thank Just you. looks great. If you want more information, we'll put a link to their winery on our web channel, NBC15.com. Click on news links. As long as it's not a bottle breaking, I can handle that. <laughs> I'd be licking the floor. In fact, Charlie, you go ahead. I'm going to make sure there's no wine left spilled here. 